dining alone? How perceptive. I knew a woman once who equated dining alone with dying alone. What happened to your fiance? Scott? He's in New York. Uh, mind if I join you? Huh? No. Of course not. Just like old times, huh? So, why'd Scott have to go to New York? Yes. Lucy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's got him on a wild goose chase again. Using the baby. I'm sorry. So what about your plans for the grand tour? Mm -hmm. They're on hold for duration. We're hoping that Scott can break Lucy back and she'll be content to stay in town and just make our lives miserable. I don't know. Lucy's a very determined woman. Yes, the two of you have certainly become little pals, haven't you? I like her. So what's it all about, Elsie? Just friends. You and Lucy, a simple, innocent friendship? I doubt it. It was your idea, my love. <laughs> but you're right. With Lucy, nothing is simple. Nor with you, Damien. You may have bitten off more than you can chew this time, Catherine. Lucy is not going to give up quietly. I never thought she would. <sighs> all this effort... And for what? I mean, I could understand it if it were a shot at the 200 million. Marriage for a few months, an amicable divorce, a big settlement. But I think you've actually convinced yourself that you're in love. Damien, I, mean, I am rapidly reaching the point where I don't care what you think. Well, I was under the impression that you were already there and gone. No. I told you I wanted us to be friends. Another example of self-delusion. Don't be obnoxious. If I were your friend, which I'm not, I'd have to suggest that what you're in love with here is the novel concept of yourself as a good girl. It's going to be fun watching you realize how bored you are with it all and with that fool Baldwin. Good night, Catherine. <laughs> She's doing. She's driving me nuts. She's got my credit card. She's running all over. Did I tell you she bought a satellite dish? Oh, twice. And she gave it to Elsie to make. Yeah. <laughs> I like Elsie, but I didn't want to buy her a satellite dish. And she's got truckloads of stuff that's headed here to Port Charles. She causes all this trouble, and then she just vanishes. Shh, no, wait. Stop it. Wait a minute. What if, what if, you know, she goes into labor and she's nowhere to be found. What if she's on some would, other continent? Would you stop it and just listen to me for a second? Repeat after me. Lucy will be perfectly fine. But you know that Lucy is going to take exquisite care of Lucy. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. It's just that, you know, I don't know what she's up to. Uh, it's a sticky situation here. She, she's running around. She's calling the shots. And we've got to play it by her rules. She knows. Well... What if we changed the rules just a little bit and we did something to make her come back here? For instance, you could marry me. It's a foolproof. Why do we want to wait so long? Oh, that's why I'm talking. Now, either one of two things will happen. Lucy will hear about the whole thing and she'll come rushing back, which will get her back into Port Charles, which is what you want. Or she won't. And then we'll keep looking for her, but we will be married, which is what we want. Oh, very much. My bet is with the wedding to sabotage, she won't be able to stay away. Well, there's just a problem, though. What? How is she going to hear about it? Well, we planned it with a proper party. And I know exactly who could do that ASAP. Did you ever work for an international spy ring? <laughs> ah, you've got such a devious mind. I never noticed that before, but it's very, very attractive. <laughs> I think it's just something that happens when you've been hanging around Lucy too long. But there's one simple, undevious thing that you should know. When I saw you off to New York to look for Lucy, I realized... What? 
and I'll never want to be without you again.